Well, ask anyone and they probably have someone in their life battling a mental health or substance use disorder. It's a common occurrence before, during and now after the pandemic. And many simply don't know where to turn for help. So Monica Robbins from our sister station in Columbus, she's got a few ideas. I was young. I got prescribed Vicoprofen for an oral surgery that I had. Aaron Mark's story echoes thousands. But for me, it was kind of like grabbed hold of me. Um, and within a really short period of time, I, I became addicted to them. But like many, Aaron's addiction escalated. You know, next thing you know, I'm alone and I'm, you know, IV drug user within a short period of time. And Substance use disorders are common. Uh, and you're not alone. His friends and family worried. It never hurts to ask someone that you love, how are you doing? I'm worried about you, and I want to talk about something I've noticed. Aaron heard their concern, and when he was ready, had a lifeline. When things really hit bottom, I was able to like pick up the phone and call and ask for help. But it can take time. Every single person is different. Every single person responds differently to everything and when people get engaged with treatment they tend to do really well the biggest problem we have is getting people engaged in treatment but there are efforts to make it easier this summer the national 988 mental health helpline opened as a portal to resources it's a number people can use for substance use disorder problems of any kind or mental illness problems of any kind if you or a loved one might need help dr runnels advises keeping a list of local resources and make that first call even if it's just for information and i often say to people Take the first next step. It's hard to know where this journey is going to go, but it never hurts to go sit down with someone and just get an assessment. The pandemic showed us a glaring need for more mental health professionals. Telehealth is a convenient option. Virtual health has, is largely able to accomplish in the world of uh, mental health and substance use disorders a lot of what um, we could do in person, and it is often a perfectly viable model for a lot of things. But in times of crisis, there's help too. And if your needs are on the more dire side, if they can't wait, almost every provider is figuring out ways to get those people in and prioritize those people. Aaron, now 18 years in recovery, has a wife, a successful career, a strong support network, and uses his experience to help others and beat the stigma. I'm not ashamed of my experience. Uh, I don't hide from my experience. WTOL 11 has partnered with the Ohio Opioid Alliance to help beat the stigma surrounding mental health and addiction. And if you or somebody that you know is struggling with mental health or addiction, or you want to know more about the stigma surrounding them, visit beatthestigma.org and you can get more information.